This is Fox 5 Morning News. Morning coming up. It was the war that won America's independence, but there are fascinating little-known facts about the Revolutionary War. Meet the author who tracked down historical media reports and find out what he learned. Well, Tony, before it was history, it was news. Really think about that. It's really fascinating. I don't think I've ever stopped to think about that. But our next guest has, and he has learned new details about the Revolutionary War from looking at those old news documents. Todd Anderlich examined media reports to learn about the battle, and he outlines his findings in a new book, and he joins us this morning. And the book, as you might imagine, for such an important chapter in our history, is huge. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks for being with us today. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, I want to talk all about it, but when you even look at it, it's basically you get a little history on this side, but you have uh, replications, if you will, of the actual news papers of that time. Exactly. Yeah, there's about 200 full color reproductions of the original colonial newspapers that reported every event of the American Revolutionary War contained within those two covers. We were talking just about this being the anniversary of um, Pearl Harbor. What, what got you interested in the Revolutionary War? You know, I think it's uh, the fact that not only when you read these newspapers, you're gaining valuable lessons about history and, and the making of America, but also the fact that these newspapers played a pivotal role in creating America. Mm. Historians are on record as saying that without newspapers, there would have been no American Revolution. Right. And so these are what fanned the flames of rebellion and sustained loyalty to the cause throughout the war. You brought with you, Todd, I mean, I, I had to double check with you if they, these were not just something from the book. These are actual newspapers, pages right. from the Times, right? Can you tell us about that? Right. So, for instance, this is the original April 21st issue of the uh, April 21st, 1775 issue oh of the New Hampshire Gazette. Okay. So this contains breaking news of the start of the Revolutionary War, the Battle of Lexington and Concord. And this is one of only two colonial American newspapers of about 40 being printed at the time uh -huh. to carry the news on the front page. Because typically back then, uh, breaking news, domestic news would be covered on the inside pages, pages two and three. These were only four pages long on okay. average. But look at the, I mean, and my goodness, the, the labor intensive aspect is, is unimaginable because I have seen how like books were made with that press just, we've showed it on the show, one letter at a time. Exactly. These are all handmade, handmade paper, uh, hand typeset. And also what's interesting about this particular issue is uh -huh. that there is a two-word headline uh, above the left column there that says bloody news mm -hmm. and headlines weren't really found in the 18th century newspapers mm -hmm. so this surely caught the attention of the colonists reading this that's that's fascinating um, let, let's talk about more of what is in the book because I, I love that you have the newspaper the accounts but you also have essays and experts weighing into it really is one-stop shopping if you're interested in the Revolutionary War right yeah it was very important that these newspapers be uh, put in context by some of the the top historians in America and so I invited 37 historians to contribute essays that really bridge centuries and hold the hand of the modern-day reader mm. so these these documents these newspapers alone can be can be very dangerous because they were the number one propaganda tool at the time and so there's sometimes errors and omissions and inaccuracies mm. and so uh, it was important to me that the historians kind of uh, uh, play the the position of referee right. and call fouls on those errors and omissions in the book. We have teased all morning long that there are some things that you uncovered by going through this history and what have you. What are some of the, the points in here that a history, a history buff might still be surprised to learn? Well, I think, uh, for instance, the, the Boston Tea Party, one of the most popular eyewitness accounts, appears in the newspapers of the time. And there we learn that uh, one of the rebel colonists attempted to pocket some of the tea and, mm. and get away with it, but uh, he was quickly seized and pummeled by some of the other participating <laughs> colonists. Because you do also talk about some figures and some, some people you might not know, some figures you might know as well. Exactly. And here is the... January 23rd, 1777 issue of the Continental Journal printed in Boston, and this contains George Washington's own account wow. of the crossing of the Delaware and the Battle of Trenton. So most people, when they think of uh, Washington crossing the Delaware, they think of the famous oil painting. Yeah. I think of the Continental Journal <laughs> because this is where George Washington, in his own words, describes the quantity of ice as uh, having impeded his crossing. Huh. Uh, and 
and that the Hessians surrendered because they were about to be cut to pieces. Right. So. And th that's what you love about history. If you love history, that's what you love about it, being able to support it with those facts and find out little uh, tidbits that you might not have known before. Very much so, yeah. Uh, the newspapers, I think, are what really make the American Revolution come to life. Right. We don't have photographs of the American Revolution. We have photographs of the Civil War and every war thereafter. But for me, these newspapers are the photographs of the American Revolution. If you want to come out and meet Todd Anderlich, uh, he will be in our area this evening at 7 p.m. Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Noble in Bethesda. The book is Reporting the Revolutionary War. Uh, before it was history, it was news. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for your time. All right. Tony, over to you. It's amazing to see those pages from those newspapers. Exactly. It's incredible. All right. Thank you both.